What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pendens and D. My name is Carrie, and today, tragedy. Yeah. So, it's cold everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's winter, and well, I took a risk in buying myself stuff for my birthday. I do every year. Um, but this year I forgot. I forgot the cardinal rule of buying things in the winter. Um, and that's to avoid things that could break in the winter. But we'll get into that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I bought stuff for my birthday. I do every year. Um, I don't make a huge big deal out of my birthday typically, but I always buy myself something. Um, and I figured this year is no exception. Uh, and I usually, for whatever reason, uh, purchase from Goulet Pens. <laughs> Hence, the lollipop. Um, and I did, again, this year. Um, and I do because you get eight free ink samples, which I think is fun. Um, you don't get like a, a discount or anything, you, you just get that, uh, which I think is like $14 now, um, US, on their their site. Uh, so I thought, why not? Take a chance. Um, so I'm gonna whip through those really quickly. I did swab them all up, so I'll show you that at the end. Um, and as with any random ink sample, there's ones I like, and there are ones that I loathe, that I will not be using. Um, I, I mean, I maybe, I don't know, I might just like with a dip pen have fun for a minute or two and then n never use it again because I hate it. Um, <laughs> but you never know. It's a fun gamble and I like it. Uh, so yeah, when I opened my package, I wasn't going to do it. I was going to wait to do it on camera for you guys. Um, but again, it's cold and I just, I just had a feeling I just had a feeling that I shouldn't do it on camera. I should do it in the laundry tub <laughs> just in case. So I did, uh, but we're gonna get to that. So upon opening the box uh, from Goulet, you get your packing order right on top uh, and then they've changed this up. This is kind of cool. You used to get a card uh, saying who it was that packed your order, um, you know, with the ridiculous amount of care and all that good stuff. So this is the first time I've seen this. Uh, if you've ordered from Goulet Pens, um, then you've probably seen it within the last little bit. I don't know when they made that change. Um, but you get a little booklet now, which is kind of cool. Um, just basically saying a little bit of who they are. Uh, on the inside is really, really handy. You get a little bit of their mission and how to contact them if need be, uh, and a little bit of how-to guides with fountain pens, which I think is really, really cool, especially because their whole thing is to get new people into fountain pens uh, and teach people how to use them. Um, and then in the back, which I thought was really neat, uh, they have a QR code. And I, I did this, <laughs> uh, and then it brings you to a landing page on their website where you can provide feedback um, on the way that your order was packed. Uh, there are more links to learn more stuff uh, of kind of like an expansion of this stuff uh, on here um, and just sort of like their latest and greatest. Uh, so I really like that. I thought that that was really, really cool. Um, good, good change. I like it. Then I also ordered, well, okay, I got again for free. Um, they throw in a sticker for you for free. Uh, this little hammy ham with a Twisby Eco. Um, I think I already have this one, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, but I did buy two stickers because they're flipping adorable. Um, and that is a little dragon because I'm obsessed with dragons. I mean, I think anyone who is into fantasy books uh, like me and is also a massive D and D nerd. Uh, I was gonna go a little bit further into detail of that, but that'll take up too much of this. Uh, so I bought <laughs> the dragon that's on top of the Lamy Safari or All Star. The sticker's a little bit shiny, so you could say it's an All Star. Uh, and while I don't particularly enjoy that pen, uh, it is fully outweighed by my love of dragons. 
And then I got a dragon that uh, is holding a pen I love. Bam! Little dragon holding the Lamy 2000. This is probably my favorite sticker of all time. Uh, yeah, I love it. I should have bought more, but you know, money doesn't grow on trees. Uh, <laughs> I wish it did. And then for my free ink samples, I'm gonna fly through these guys. Uh, but like I said, at the very end, I will show you um, some swabs of them. So I got Lamy Obsidian, uh, which is a black ink. It's not gonna focus. It's gonna wanna choose my face for whatever reason. Um, I've never used the Lamy Obsidian, so that one is gonna be new. Uh, Diamine Silver Fox. It is a gray ink uh, with slight blue undertones. I have used that. I don't remember much. Uh, and then an ink that I like the color of when I swabbed it, but I probably won't use it with anything other than a dip pen, maybe, uh, is Diamine Mystique. It's a dark blue with gold glitter. I do not like glitter. Along the glitter theme is Colorverse Cat Glistening. Uh, it is a rich, rich, like royal blue uh, with some silver shimmeries. Uh, then an ink that I've used many a time and I like it quite a bit. It's sort of a yellowy brown with black undertones uh, is Robert Oster Cafe Crema. Uh, and then two inks from Sailor I've never used before. This is uh, Sailor Ink Studio 935, uh, which is a really intense purple color. Um, so that'll be interesting. Probably will be a pain in the deal hole to clean out, but I still like it. Uh, one that I hate uh and will not use is uh sailor studio 731 it is a very in your face slap you across it stinging you uh bright pink ish red i don't know i hate the color um and i do not hate many things and then the last one i have used before uh it's sort of a teal that is more green ish uh, is pilot irushizuku uh, sui Gyoku. Uh, I probably butchered that. It looks more blue in this vial on camera than it is. It's a little bit more green. Uh, so those are the ink files. And I was super stoked uh, when I opened it up and saw them because they come in a little plastic baggie, which is going to shake the camera to pull out. Oh, they stuck together. There's two bags. Um, came in a little plastic baggie which is cool uh because if the ink exploded then uh it would have been fine i have had ink samples come fully frozen before uh and i actually don't mind that because it thaws out no problem uh and it's only ever full like two to four millimeters millimeters <laughs> milliliters um and there's plenty of room for it to expand so no worries but none of these were frozen so i was like <laughs> bonus uh, because I bought a bottle of ink. Yes, I did. But I will get to that. What I also purchased was uh, this guy. Isn't it so pretty? This is a rickshaw pen case. It's the Mount Etna version, so you get the exploding volcano on both sides with Visconti homo sapiens uh, and then you get just like the softest felt like the softest felt do I need this absolutely not why did I buy it um because it's gorgeous and I love these I am currently using also a Goulet pens rickshaw case which is the exact same thing just different design um and I've been using this for many, many, many years now, and I love it. Uh, so I just, I just wanted another one, okay? It was my birthday, whatever, leave me alone. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Then I bought a little notebook. This is a Nemesign notebook. It is A5, uh, 80 sheets, five millimeter dot grid, uh, 80 gram paper. I've never used Nemesign before, so that's why I purchased this one. Um, I purchased this because it has the like binding here, um, so that way I can just do the old you know, flippy flip whenever I want to, uh, to harken back to my D&D &D nerd uh, so that I can take notes really easily without having to keep a notebook totally open because um, space on my table is 
in short supply. Uh, I have all of the accessories. I got a dice rolling tray. I got my monster bag of dice because I'm a dice goblin. <laughs> and, you know, you got the player's handbook. You got your your character sheets and, and some, some other pretty things. And, yeah, I'm a nerd. I know. So I got that. And then I got the same thing basically again. Same purpose. Wirebound uh, Claire Fontaine notebook. Uh, this one is a grid. I just knocked over a sample of ink. Um, I've used this before. I had the line version instead of the grid. I thought I bought the line version, but obviously I did not. Um, I don't think I paid full attention to it. Um, it is random, the color you get. And while I don't love red, uh, I will probably just sticker it all up um, so that I don't see the red because yeah. Uh, and then I picked up just because <laughs> another Goulet notebook. Uh, this is the um, 52 GSM white lined A5 notebook because you can never have too many of these. Am I right? Uh, and then I got two more things. So I did get a pen. I'm going to leave that till last. So I'm going to tell you my story right now. Um, well, let me just show you this. Okay. This, this, this happened. Yeah. This happened. <laughs> Yeah, you can see exactly where the bottle was in in the bottom of the box. <laughs> My bad. But whilst tragedy happened, um, when I when I got the bottle, I'll just close it close it right up. I've been avoiding touching it. I've had to wash my hands like 17 times today because uh, you know ink and stuff. Ah, I got ink on me anyways. Oh well, whatever. Uh, I saw this little bit of ink here and I knew I was in trouble because for the most part the box is fine the bag it was in was fine so I thought oh, did I get lucky uh yes and no is the answer um no because it did have explosions uh but I did get lucky because I just dropped it oh my god can you imagine if I just jinxed it and that happened because the bottle itself did not break <laughs> So I did lose probably like two milliliters of ink, maybe a little bit. Obviously, like it's a 38 mil bottle. So like it's going to last me a long time. Um, so like I did lose some because usually it's like right up to the base of the lid. Uh, but the glass itself did not break. So when the ink expanded after it was frozen, because this was a solid block when it got to me, um, it basically came up through the threads and exploded out of the cap, but the glass is perfectly fine. <sighs> so I did have an inky mess. I have had to wash my hands like 700 times and I still have things all over it, but I didn't lose a ton. Uh, so I am more than okay with that. <laughs> um, it stinks because normally I keep the boxes for Ferris Wheel Press and I never keep the boxes for Ferris Wheel Press, but I just love their boxes. They're super cute. They're aesthetically gorgeous uh, and I love the designs on them, um, but I'm not going to be keeping this box because it is all inky on the inside and the ink is saturated into it to the point where every time it touches something, ink comes off and I don't want to deal with that every time. So no, thank you. Um, so yes, I bought Ferris Wheel Press Storied Blue um, because I have gone through three ink samples of this before the actual bottle was in stock and available for me to purchase. Uh, so I have used six milliliters already of this ink <laughs> without even owning the bottle itself. But now I do. Uh, tragedy, whoa, oh, tragedy was tragedy. I left it in the tub, like my sink tub, uh, in the laundry room for a couple hours as it thawed out. Uh, I wiped off the bottle, cleaned it up the best I could um, just to make sure, because if it's water basically, right? Like water's gonna find a way out if there's the tiniest little crack. Uh, and thankfully it did not, so I'm okay. But it's not the end of my ink stories because I did buy a fountain pen and I bought a fountain pen with the help of a Patreon member. You know who you are, thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Link is in the description if you want to help support me on Patreon. Um, for just shy of a week now, um, I have posted a video there uh, for um, 
pens that I have up for sale at the moment. I have a lot. I have like 30-ish uh, up for sale. Uh, that went live yesterday. Uh, so yeah, uh, anything that gets claimed up by those guys get gone first and then it will come live onto the YouTubes uh, for you all to purchase um, should you choose to do so. Uh, so just heads up in roughly a week, maybe two if things get crazy. Um, then yeah, but, but I mentioned a few videos ago that I really, 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 really was hoping against all hope that the Goulet, um, exclusive fountain pen from Bennu, uh, the Earl Grey version was still going to be there when I placed this birthday order and it sold out real quick. <laughs> Uh, so initially I was going to get a broad nib because I never had a broad nib from um, Bennu before, uh, but that one sold out within like a day or two, like just a few days. It was pretty quickly. Um, now, typically broad is uh, the least amount available because most people don't prefer broads. Um, and I was like, hey, whatever, I'll just, no worries. But it was selling out quick and I just, I knew it wasn't going to make I knew it wasn't going to make it. So uh, a, a beautiful Patreon member reached out to me and said, hey, I could buy it for you since it's not going to last. And maybe we do like a trade. So essentially, I'm going to send her a fountain pen uh, in in replace of that. Uh, so instead of, she, she essentially bought the pen off of me. <laughs> and we swap it a dude uh so she purchased it it's on its way it just arrived last night um so i will be sending the pen very shortly uh and yes i did get it i got it i'm so pleased oh my goodness the Bennu euphoria earl gray i will do an actual video on this because it is simply stunning it is made with real earl gray uh the fine nib was also sold out the medium nib was all that was left so i did get that and and to top it off like an hour after this person made the purchase it was completely sold out and it's been sold out ever since uh so very very happy and also amazingly thank you i opened up the 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 box that it came in with a beautiful note and a surprise they did send a nether uh, Bennu nib or a schmidt nib uh in the broad so now i have both which also means i'm going to do another video comparing the fine the medium and the broad for you all but i said that i had another ink tragedy and i did not lie because when I opened up the box for the Earl Grey, I opened it up. And if you just heard my stomach rumble, that's amazing. I opened it up whoop, and I saw this. <laughs> I saw this and I thought, uh oh. <laughs> and then if I can, got all, got all little, little inked up here. Yeah, all the inky goodness. Uh, because one of the cartridges exploded. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, I'm going to put this down now because it's all sticking together now because that was last night. And oh, Snickers. I got ink. I got ink on my floor. Good thing I have a mat because it's exploded. It's like half of the ink cartridge. So, you know, um, I'm going to. I'm gonna clean that up before it gets all over my socks because that would be something that would happen to me. Oh, it did land on the carpet. Oh, well, just just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Because, uh, you know, inks. That's been my day. It's, ink has been my day. It's just like, ah. <laughs> um, so, you know. Um, but mostly I have a, a solid mat under here that's like I can roll my rolly chair on that doesn't get caught in the carpet. Um, but, you know, we're, we're fine. Moving on. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then for funsies, even though, you know, you guys won't care about this, I, I did buy myself some books as well because... I have a problem. I am not on Book Talk, but I do have a Bookstagram account. If you're curious, uh, it's 
a bookish Canadian uh, on Instagram. If you want to follow me there as well as pens and tea, you, you can do that if you want. Um, but that's everything that I bought. Some notebooks, a pen, wrap, some inks that all exploded except for the samples. <laughs> And then, um, obviously, my new favorite pen, because gosh darn it, this thing is the best I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh, and I'm going to ink it up immediately, um, even though I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pens inked up at the moment. Um, so, yeah. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. I mean, I know I've been saying this a lot lately, um, but some unfortunate things have happened in the personal life a lot this year uh and recently i find myself suddenly unemployed um that's neither here nor there but yeah thank you guys for for making my life a little bit better and uh if, if you haven't yet hit the subscribe hit the like i'm not going anywhere i'm i'm here i'm here probably forever and i mean if you've watched 20 some odd minutes of this already of me rambling and telling you a random story then you you already know this. So, thank you. I appreciate your faces. And as always, I'll see you next time. So I got so excited filming the first half of this video that I forgot to actually show you um, the end. <laughs> so thanks for watching the bonus outro, I guess. Uh, this is on the Nemesine notebook that I just bought. Uh, so that's Lamy Obsidian. It is more, slightly more black in Real Z's. Uh, the camera just makes it look a little bit uh, grayer. Um, Diamine Silver Fox, pretty, pretty accurate. Um, Mystique from Diamine and Glistening Cat from Colorverse both have some sprinkly sparkles, so probably won't use those a ton. I don't particularly like glitter, uh, cause it never, ever comes out of the feeds, uh, and that drives me bonkers. Uh, but there's a little bit of sheen on both of them, so that's cool. Robert Ruster Cafe Crema. It looks slightly more yellow on camera than in real life. Uh, in real, real Z's, it's a little bit more brown. Uh, Sailor Ink Studio 935. Uh, there is a slight bit of purple or gold sheen, it looks like, which is kind of nice. Uh, that is cool. I like purple inks. They're just a pain in the dillness to uh, clean out because they're super saturated. Uh, Sailor Studio 731. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Uh, but it also has sheen, which is kind of cool. I forgot I had my space heater on, um, so hopefully you can still hear me. Um, so yeah, I probably won't use that. I might mess around with it with a dip pen for a little bit, and that's about it. Pilot Hiroshizuku Suigoku, Kyoku. Um, I botched that, I'm sure. Uh, it's a kind of a teal color, um, slightly more green in real life than it's looking. Uh, and then my beloved Ferris Wheel Press Storied Blue. I love it so, so much. So yeah, those are the ink samples that I got and then I kind of I kind of like the way that the ink looks in this notebook it did not uh, feather at all which is really cool um so no feathering which is like yay it didn't handle the uh oops that's two pages didn't handle the swatches very well as far as like warping the page but no transfer so Good first impression. And look, if you watch to the end, you got a little bit of a bonus uh, notebook review thing. Okay, bye! <laughs>